well, different. Um, we have uh, gone through these uh, two days, and we are arriving at some point. Uh, and I um, had uh, three questions in the morning. Uh, uh, the parents uh, upbring uh, kids, but who will teach the parents and the teachers? Uh, um, who will teach the teachers? And who will try to illuminate those uh, responsible for education? And uh, we are. Uh, it's like a, an address uh, uh, to the parents on behalf of our advanced uh, uh, program. And uh, if I may uh, read uh, these uh, um, uh, address uh, uh, to uh, the parents. Uh, this letter to parents of the world uh, was uh, um, uh, first uh, originated in March uh, in Helsinki, just two weeks before the terrible fire and the tragedy in Kemerova. So when inaugurating our advanced program, mm, uh, we had some uh, uh, anxiety. And uh, one may say that it is uh, hardly, a, 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 it, it seems to be quite senseless uh, to to turn to parents of the world because uh, um, what I will now read uh, seems to be like a concoction of banalities, but uh, I do uh, trust uh, that it is important uh, to have this uh, uh, letter or address uh, to the parents of the world uh, to express our stance uh, on matters of education so that uh, uh, all um, educators, parents, school kids, fans, uh, uh, viewers, listeners, uh, we are all different, but we are citizens. Dear parents of the world, we share with you the fate of being parents. Today we would like to address you on behalf of our children, whom we never ask, and understandably so, if they wish to be born. We hardly ever try to reason why we conceived and delivered them to the world. Of course, biology is a lot uh, stronger than our parental uh, feelings. But uh, really, children only learn about it uh, uh, much too late. It is too late for the helpless newborn to protest, object, vociferate, and rebel. But they still do it. What do we experience ourselves after we have become parents? Let us take but one example from Russia. When answering a question about the source of their greatest fears, a list of 15 points was given. 74% of the respondents said they experienced constant anxiety for their children, 74%. This is the highest average value over 20 years much in excess of the fears of a world war, 44%. And we can see that this is the highest average uh, over 20 years between 1996 and 2017. Why is this example so important to us as parents? It is because the parenting fears reflect our natural connection to life as an absolute, absolute enduring value. It is indeed a connection, since it is only possible to describe life through a relation or a connection. If life is without meaning, then death is also without meaning. Leo also wrote in the death of Ivan Ilyich. How is it then possible to restore the meaning to life and death? Formally, this is a simple logical exercise, which consists in substituting a phrase meaningless life with its opposite, meaningful life. But every human is only an attempt to become a human. Tolstoy states with his novella that a human life uh, is only meaningful when it has been lived honestly and honorably. But what does an honest and dignified honorable life mean when we assume a human to be a social person? What is public good? 
what is the basis for combining the personal vital interests and attitudes into social and later political will. Clearly, this basis is responsibility, which is an ability to correlate one's life plan with the life plans of others and to search for allies to achieve the goals. And for that, the thing which is important is the plan, the vision of the future, responsible thinking which is based on the desire and willingness to plan and prepare for tomorrow. And the more allies we have in it, the easier is the task of planning for the future. Social involvement and responsibility for one's destiny are categories which supplement each other. But uh, let us uh, go back to this uh, statistics of 74%. In the words of Lev Gutkov, director of Levada Center, people, when expressing their fear for children, usually imply health issues, security, protection from injustice. These are often not specific causes of fear, but rather generalized, diffuse anxiety without immediately apparent foundations. It is equally important that uh, children in this mental paradigm are but a parent's projection of his or her own status, a transfer of the anxiety and uncertainties of one's life into some modal future, which is deemed in an illusionary way as a problem-free and desirable state. Thus, parental reactions as uh, must necessarily be viewed as an expression of value-based attitudes towards child health, public security, justice, and so on. Another survey conducted by Levada Sete is equally significant. Only 15% of citizens are willing and ready to plan their lives for five years and longer ahead, and almost a half of those sampled 46% were not able to imagine how their life would develop in the next few months. A missing picture of one's personal future is reflected in the miseries and anxiety of the present. A dim, uncertain future sickles over one's resolution and instills fear. The quoted statistics are from the Russian reality, but the problem is universal. And to dispel the fog of uncertainty, we, the parents, must develop and share responsibility, civics, and solidarity. In it, we see a single common mission of parents, the guardians of those who will live in this world tomorrow. We, the parents, must live a life and not confine ourselves to its imitation. We must learn to make this distinction between the rule of law and uh, the dictatorship of the law, the lies and the truth, the justice and the tutelage on the part of the state. We must overcome the fear and build a common future. Then, and only then, shall we cease being a company of strangers who have accidentally convened in some hall, a city or a country, and become a society of modern citizens. Life is intrinsically valuable, while our attitudes are predicated upon the natural desire to retain this value for the sake of ourselves and for our children. Thus, it is fundamental for us, as parents and citizens, to understand the responsibility we, the parents and the citizens, not by just passport, but by spirit, really bear for our children entering the world. Thank you. Uh, I have to say that this uh, text um, has been uh, um, uh, somewhat uh, um, uh, edited, uh, and I would like to thank Mikhail Fischer.